So we populate the property, the porosity, so you know what to do it, okay? You, the same thing, and you see the correlation, permeability, so the correlation between porosity and permeability was that it from result from routine core analysis, present in figure one, okay? So you have figure one, this is the graph, and you have the correlation. And the correlation is 10 exponent, all this, porosity multiplied, so all of this. And using the calculator, so it's given, you're gonna use this P of the view. If you open the document, this is the... So exponent in Petra is just a common uh, No, it's, the, it's this P of the view function, and then you... Function. I mean, uh, like in... In Excel, it's, the, it's that. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one is different because this is the exponent ten. Ten exponent that one. Yeah, it's some some different, and that's the reason why I add the documents because I want to. Uh, there are things that I cannot. So you will do. It's a power. Yeah. It's a power. Yeah. And you also have another another. Okay. So basically, this the same one. The, the next one you can do it with the calculator. Okay. So you can do the, the calculator using, you know, permeability x equal to ten or p of u, and then put that equation. Okay. Porosity. Is the porosity that you populate? Yeah. So can we put in the? Um, or we can select from the variables in the equation. Exactly. Okay. You, you so cannot, you must. <laughs> yeah. Because it's the. Huh? What's a POW? POW is a function, it's like a, function. a square. It's yeah. A right Open the. the ah. How to use the calculator? It's, it's, no, 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 it's no, from the trail, and that thing is elevated to the exponent. Okay? It's a function, and that. So you can do that one. So you're going to populate the permeability. As soon as you po calculate, populate the permeability using this formula, then you're going to populate permeability x, permeability y, permeability z. Okay? And then you have another graph, this graph, which is irreductible water saturation as a function of porosity. It's a linear function. You can also create that property. Okay, and then the more difficult one that I'm, I'm gonna talk, uh, talk to you about is the point 14, which is a water saturation function, which is a bigger equation, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do that a little bit, okay? So imagine that you generate a property of irreductible water saturation, okay? So you don't that. You will generate a property using using the linear, the linear correlation that you have in this graph, okay? The linear correlation is, is irreductible water saturation is equal to minus 1.8478 multiplied by the porosity plus this one, okay? Then, we're going to solve, so the, the the irreductible water saturation is equal to minus minus uh, 1.864 
divide them by a hundred. Okay, so you basically can use that with the calculator. All right, that's easy. Okay, the only thing I'm gonna show you is that in point fourteen, you need to do, you need to calculate HT. HT. How are you gonna calculate HT? Okay. HT is the is the is the height from the contact set. Okay, it's the height away from the contact. That is that height to calculate the saturation function. Okay. So S W I. We needed that equation as well. Exactly. Is it minus in point of one point? Exactly. Mm -hmm.
Okay? As soon as you make property, you will have a property in you, in your model. See? This is your model, okay? Huh? You see that? This is your model. Okay? Now, because we have the contact and I, the HD is the, the distance from the contact set. Okay, it's from the water of contact. That is the HD that you have in the equation because what happened? What is the saturation below the contact set, below the water of contact? What is the water saturation? One. Okay, but when you are away from the contact set, what happened with the saturation? The water saturation decreased. Okay, so I need that HD in the formula to make a saturation function. So, they used to have that HD, I'm going to go to... Why is that? Perspective. I'm going to move again. Perspective, reservoir and production. Reservoir engineering. Geometrical modeling. That is what I say. Go to geometrical modeling. Okay? Create a property above contact HD using geometrical modeling and using the water on contact, okay? So to do that, you click geometrical modeling, okay? And then you choose above contact, this one. You find it? That's that one, okay? And then you click no constant value, contact. Okay, and then I open my contact here, contact set, and I bring the oil water contact to this. Okay? Did you delete that contact? Hmm? I think you deleted that contact. Ah, because I, because I want to show to the bar, the student to the bar. Ah, sorry about that. Why did you delete that? <laughs> You click my contact at the top again. Okay, and then you click apply. You create, you put apply. When you put, you click apply. You're gonna create a property. Can you see the property? HT. That is HT. Okay, and it's the the height respect to the all water contact. Okay. So we have that property, okay? So you create that, you click that. See? Oh. <laughs> so the zero, the zero is at the contact set. So it's the, the height from the contact set. The contact set is the zero one. See? You see the same color. Below the contact set is zero. Okay? So is it from the oil water contact exactly. to the oil to the gas oil contact? Exactly. Well, no, to the grid, to, 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 to the top of the grid. Yeah, to the top of the grid. All right? Yeah. Okay? So that is, so the rest, the rest is applicable with the calculator. Okay? The rest, for instance, A, in the, in the question, you're going you're gonna to calculate H is equal to AT. Because H, H is not a property, it's not porosity, it's just, you, you, you define that as a general property, okay? In the calculator, when you're gonna calculate A, A in your project, what you're gonna do is you, you define, you go to properties, you use the calculator for A, it doesn't mean A is, is a constant, it's a, it's a value. So you don't have that, you can put that as a general. Uh, remember general? When you select here, you select general, that, I don't know what that is. Well, there should be gas about it. So you go to general. General, you find general, 